What's up everyone, it's Bucky, and welcome to your third Python tutorial. Now, in our third tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys about something called variables. Now, this concept is going to um, seem kind of familiar if you learned any other program languages. But for those of you noobs out there, what a variable is, is a placeholder for something else. Or it's pretty much a temporary um, storage for any value. So it's real easy uh, just to see how it works. So let me get, there we go, as soon as my cursor starts working. Let me show you guys how this is done. How you um, create variables is you create a variable name first and assign it to a value. Now this value can either come from you or another person. So first let me show you guys how to create a real simple variable. Um, let's start with x, that's a pretty common name for a variable and let me assign it to any number like 18 and then just put x equals 18 and press enter once you press enter x now has the value of 18 so anywhere when you are doing basic functions like math functions instead of typing 18 you can now type the letter x and it's gonna represent the number 18 so instead of uh, putting 18 times four all you can do or all you have to do is to put X um what are we gonna do plus 15 and it's gonna view X as 18 and and uh, output whatever 18 plus 15 is now this value stays the same X equals 18 unless you change it so you can use it again and again X um, let's do exponent 3 18 to the third power is that and again that's how you can assign variables to multiple values or excuse me just a single value you can also have more than one variable at a time so x equals 18 right now you can also have y equals 54 press enter we now have two variables stored in our computer x is equal to 18 and y is equal to 54 now you can use both of these in the same function if you want. X plus Y equals 18 plus 54 equals 72. And you can keep going on and on like this. Um, another thing that I want to show you guys is that um, if you're just looking at this and be like, all right, variables, they're kind of cool, but they're kind of worthless. Anytime you would want X to equal 18 or Y to equal 54 when you're using these numbers, why wouldn't you just type 18 plus 15 or 18 plus 54? It's kind of a waste of time. Well, in this case, yes, it is a waste of time. But variables are useful or they're going to be useful in the future when we're making applications, especially when we don't know what the value is yet. And if you're looking at what I just did and be like, how can you not know what you're going to add before you add it? Are you an idiot? Well, yes, I am an idiot, but more importantly, Whenever you get information from a user and write programs this way, those are the things that you don't know what information they're going to enter yet. So say you write a program to um, uh, like a mortgage calculator or something. Whenever they put the price of their house in, uh, that's what you put. The, that number is going to be the variable. Then you run all the calculations from that. So how can we, in Python, make it so... Um, pretty much whatever they're going to enter is going to be stored in the variable. Well, I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. To do this, you need a little function called input. So let's say we have a variable. Let's store it in G. So put G equals input. Now in your empty parameters, just write a little message. Put um, like enter number here. Now, once you press enter, a little prompt's going to come up, whatever you typed in your parentheses. Now, this is what the user would see right here. So, it's going to enter a number right there, put 43. And once you press enter, that number, 43, this is going to allow the user to enter whatever variable they want. So, instead of just writing our own variables, this is a little function where the user can have their own variables. Now, unlike us assigning the variable, the user just assigned the number 43 to G. 
and this is why a bunch of different applications can be made possible now instead of um, 43 we can simply use the letter G for any function we want G plus uh, 32 equals 75 G um, exponent 3 whatever that is so again to assign your own variables just write a variable name uh, one letter will do for now and assign it using the equal sign or if you want to get the user to assign a variable for you which you can use in functions later on all you have to do is make a variable name like anything make it equals to and put input and then write a little message so they know what's going on and again this little input function right here that allows the user to assign their own variables instead of having us do it so again that is your two dollar tour on variables i hope you learned something um, practice assigning your own variables and practice using the input so that other people can input variables in your program and once you learn this and got used to it then you're ready to move on to the next python tutorial so again, thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned a little something, and I'll see you next time.